morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Septicai and welcome back to Little Bit Life! Did you all forget about Paddy Fitzpatrick? I did, I forgot that Paddy even existed. He was in our lives for a short little time and then he left for a while but he's back. But you know what? He needed a break! Last time we talked to Sean, Sean, Paddy, okay I'm sick, leave me alone, I can't fucking brain. Last time we talked to Paddy, his half-sister Faye came out of the closet as bisexual and she's been promoted to corporal. Fair play to her. Uh, I graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in computer science. Go me. Also reaching for the stars. I was released from my position as lab assistant for Shannon University as I'm no longer a student. Kira suffered a second trimester miscarriage. Well, life hasn't been going great since, but I have a good feeling about this. Happiness is at an all-time low. It's at 20%, but my looks have gone up to 62%. I've had a lot of plastic surgery done. I can't remember what else I have done. I have a house, I believe. But we have to go looking for a job now. We- Alright, wait, what did it say we graduated as? Uh, I graduated an undergraduate degree in computer science. Alright, so we can go for a job as... What are we looking for? A computer programmer? 68,000 a year? That's pretty damn good. I'ma go for that. Apply for this open position today. This is good. This is good, okay? Give me all your luck! My- my little Paddy here has not had the best amount of time. He's had a miscarriage with his beautiful wife, he's been let go from his position, he graduated, his dog's dead, his family's torn apart, and some of them are dead. We need this! I need your luck! I know what you're saying, Jack, but you're Irish, you should have all the luck in the world. You'd think that, but I'm sick and also got a tooth removed recently, so... Things are not on my side. Apply for this position. While being interviewed for a computer programmer position at Oasis Core, you were asked the following question. Do you prefer to call? Or text. Shit. They're a programming course. They might say to text because they might want me to actually work on an app that will work on texting. Or they want me to call because they know I'm serious and they know that I w Um... I prefer to talk in person. Yes! Welcome aboard! That's the right answer! Come on, Patty! a bye! Oh, welcome to Oasis Core. That was the trick question. They were like, do you want to call or text about the position? And I'm like, drop my balls on the table like, I'm gonna walk in in person. Like, sir, this is a McDonald's drive through Please leave. That's good though. Now we're earning 68,000 a year and I can just keep aging myself up. What age am I? Can we see? 37. Alright, we got an undergraduate degree. I'm 37. I finally got a well-paying job. It's never too late to chase your dreams and do great things, but my happiness is really low. I think me and Kira should have a conversation. I think that we should attend relationship counseling. We might need that. After we lost a child, Kira hasn't talked to me for a while, and I've kind of just come home and shuffled my way through the house and not talked to her either. I think we really need to air our stuff out. Try to make her pay too. No, ask her to go. Your wife, Kira, refused to go with you to relationship counseling. Great. That's good. No, it's fine. It's a healthy relationship. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Me and Kira get along like a house on fire. Although a house on fire eventually burns down to the ground. But while it's on fire, it's great. You know what? I'm gonna do something on my own. I am going to- No! I am going to go for a walk. Uh, let's go for a normal walk for 30 minutes. Distance 2.6k. I'm a machine. I have- I basically have mechanical legs. My happiness went up from 28 to 36. I'm getting my happiness up again. Let's go. Uh, let's- let's meditate. There you go. Atta boy. Happiness up to 40%. That's not great. Alright, time to age up. We'll go 38 years old. Quality time. Your father wants to take you to a soccer match. Will you go with him? Hell yeah I will! Of course I will, Papa! I would love to go watch the football with you! Yes, Papa! Anything, Papa! I have wanted this quality time together! Fucking runny nose! I love how it says, of course I will, I'm too busy right now, or argue with him. Like, how dare you? How dare you want quality time with me? Who do you think you are, my dad? Oh, uh, fuck. Of course I will. Good times, you went to a soccer match with your father. I'm up to 49% happiness. You hear that, Kira? You lost a child, so that's actually really understandable. Um, and I love you still. Sorry. Wait, what? Hold on. There's a piece of information in here that I feel like was very relevant that they didn't tell me. 
A tsunami has... <coughs> a tsunami has pounded the coast of Pakistan after a magnitude 3.1 earthquake occurred 39 miles off the shore. It is expected that there will be tens of thousands of casualties, with most of the survivors being left homeless. That's a pretty substantial thing to happen. But BitLife is all about my life. It's all about me having quality time with my dad and going relationship counseling with my wife. But no. 3.1 earthquake off the coast of Pakistan? Nah, we don't care. Paddy's got more important things. Ah, I see. We have a bank balance of 47 grand. I have an income of 68,000, but I have a tax rate of 24%. That's not bad, all right. It's, it's kind of in line with the rest of Ireland, all right? But if you made a company, you'd probably be able to get like 12% tax, you know, because Ireland's really good for its uh, corporate tax rates, as everybody, as you all know, everybody knows that. Uh, monthly outflow, 3,227. I have a net worth of 300 grand. I'm gonna make a tweet. They love it. You post it on social media, got 31 likes. Fuck yeah, of course. I'm just a trendsetter. What do I do at my job? Oh, let's check out the popularity I have with my coworkers. Oh my god, everyone hates me. <laughs> I only have a good relationship with Rowan Thompson, senior translator. Adam Stewart hates me. Amy Johnston hates me. Callum, Evan, Freya, Layla, Nathan, Saoirse, Sophie, all fucking hate me. Is it because of my face, is it? Because I'm telling you, there's a lot more going on. Just because I've had plastic surgery all over my face and just because I've made my penis a different shape. Multiple times at this point does not make me a different person. All right, seriously. What? Let's let's befriend. No, let's have a conversation with her. You tried to start a conversation with your co-worker Sirsha about who will be the next UFC champion. She told you that she is too busy at the moment. For fuck's sake, Sirsha. No, she really hates me. What should what should I do? Talk to her again. You tried to start a conversation with the co-worker Sirsha about whether or not students wear, should wear uniforms. She told you she's too busy at the moment. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna kill me in my sleep. Oh yeah, that relationship went downhill fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm too much of a talker, that's the problem. Let's just work harder instead. <laughs> I don't need people to like me. They'll like me for my work ethic. I hope. Uh, relationships. Wait, my happiness fucking collapsed. God damn it, don't let Sirsha get in your head, Paddy. Alright, she's too busy at the moment, but that does not devalue you as a person, alright? You're a beautiful man! Let's talk to Kira. You told your wife, Kira, that she's a winner. Come on, man. You've been married for a while. You've gone through some tough shit together. The best you can come out with is that she's a winner. It's like your wife walking through the house and be like, Hey, love of my life, you're pretty dang cool. Actually, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Ooh. I have increased in age, which makes me irresistible to people. Your co-worker, Layla, told me she is happy to know my body is 60% water because she is very thirsty. <laughs> Layla! Jesus Christ! What will you do? <laughs> it even gives me their looks! <laughs> like, no, Layla, you're a stinker. Give it to her. God, reject her advances. Now I'm gonna report someone to HR! You can't do that, Layla! You reported your co-worker, Layla, to HR for making a sexual advance on you. HR said they would look into it. They fucking better! Kira and I have been married for 10 years! We need to do something! 10 years is a pretty big deal! I have been given a raise of 7%, my salary is now 72,840 euro. That, fair play to you, Paddy. Life is fucking kicking up into high gear for you. Um, <laughs> divorce. <laughs> We've been married for 10 years, we had a good run, but you know what? I'm 39, life is just starting, divorce. <laughs> well, make love first. You and your wife, Kira, made love. My enjoyment was at, at, at 99%. Hers is at 100%, mine's at 99%. Probably because in the middle of it she flicked one of my balls and I couldn't really concentrate. <laughs> Dude, why is your happiness at 40%? You should be riding high on cloud nine right now. You fucker. It's hard to, it's hard to keep you satisfied. Ah, oh, my relationship with Kira is at an all-time high. Uh, let's... Let's go to the movies to get... Wait. Spent time with her. You took your wife Kira to build a pillow fort. That's fucking cute. That's cute as heck. I want to do something else though. I want to like go out and have dinner. Why is it only I can go to counseling, give her a gift, insult her, make love, or go to the movies? Where's like date night? Well, Layla doesn't like me anymore. That's fine. Let's have a conversation with her to see if she remembers what I did. You tried to start a conversation with your co-worker Layla about your imaginary friend. She politely asked you to leave her alone so she could concentrate on her work. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what? I had fair reason to report her to human resources, all right? She made a very strong sexual advancement on me. I, I felt very uncomfortable. Oh my god, I forgot that my car was stolen. 
My car was in terrible condition and I wanted to repair it. And it said, your stolen Ford Mustang does not currently need any repair. <laughs> I forgot I just robbed a whole ass car. <laughs> I mean, Patty did. I had no part in any of this. I am not culpable to be arrested. All right, social media. Post the status update. Five likes. They're worn out on me. They don't like me anymore. They don't like my tweets about how I sculpted a pillow fort out of potatoes. God damn it. I have some stuff to give, all right? Oh, I didn't realize I could spend time with all. Spend time with all relationships. I think I did that already and I just forgot. You invested time in five relationships. Your stepfather refused to spend time with you. Ah, fuck him anyway. All right, it's time to level up. We are now 40. Workplace annoyance. Your coworker Nathan just squeezed out a fart as he walked past you saying, Better out than in. What will you do? Nathan, you dirty bastard! Attack him. I think- No. You know what? Let's go and surprise me. I kind of want to attack him, but I kind of want to beat the shit out of him. Because I'm at 40 now. It's time to change up my life. It's time to really start busting out some advancements. Surprise me. Yes! It hurt me! It wanted me to attack him. What can I do? Pick your move. Scratch, spit, elbow, pound, punch, poke, kick, hook, uppercut. Oh god. I'm gonna backhand him. Come on, Nathan! Keep it in! What a backhand his nose. <laughs> Just give him a little light. Stop! Nathan! Hey! Nathan! Stop it, you filthy fuck! You backhanded your co-worker Nathan's nose. Then you kicked his pancreas, altering his insulin levels. I did not say that! I did not tell you to go kick in his pancreas! Now that's a lot of damage! I just wanted to backslap his nose! Jesus Christ, that escalated quickly. Am I okay? Do I still have my job? I'm fine. <laughs> oh wait, it says I got kicked out of a bar for calling the server a peon. What the hell does my character do in between segments? I have no control over that and it worries me. Alright, I'm 40. It's time to start messing shit up. I think it's time for some more crime. Yes, commit a crime. What are we gonna do this time? Should I try murder someone? It's probably a little much. Arrange a contract killing. Oh, Nathan. Where is he? Nathan Brown, yes. I hired a hitman to kill my co-worker. Hire 21,000. That's actually not as much as I thought it would take to kill someone. That's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, you found a hitman going by the name of Hannibal Lecter. Oh god, he's not gonna kill him, he's gonna eat him at the same time. Uh, less evidence, that's good. Don't tell Kira, okay? Shh, this is our secret. If you fucking tell anybody, I will hire a hitman. <laughs> It's a joke! It's a joke! YouTube is a joke! Okay? Please! Let my video go out to all subscribers. Uh, higher. Yes. Oh. Your hitman Hannibal Lecter pulled off the hit on your co-worker Nathan using a hunting knife. Holy fuck! That's kind of scary. Wait, what?! Your hitman Hannibal Lecter is now threatening to kill you with a hunting knife too, unless you pay him another 21,000. What will you do? Oh shit! I can't do anything! I either pay him the extra 21,000. Pfft, fat chance. I can fight him. I could take him. Call the police, run for my life. Tell him a deal is a deal. Oh god, what should I do? I shouldn't call the police, because if I call the police, then they're gonna know that I hired a hitman to kill Nathan. I could run for my life. Or just tell him, you know, stand your ground, a deal's a deal. Your hitman Hannibal Lecter apologized and explained that he has difficulty behaving rationally sometimes. Yeah! This is what it's all about, okay? Put on my big boy pants! I just went in and I was like, you know what, Mr. Hitman who killed someone for me for 21,000 euro and wants 21,000 euro or else they're gonna kill me? No! Not today! I shall live! And he was like, yeah, you know what, fair enough, I didn't think about it that way. That's great though! Nathan's dead! That's what he gets for squeaking off a fart in front of me. Let that be a lesson. Squeak off a, a, squeak off a fart in front of Jack. I'll hire a Hitman to kill you. You know what else I'm gonna do? I am gonna work even harder. Hard work betrays none. Your co-workers away this core have noticed that you've been working harder. Nathan's gone. There's a position to fill. I will fill the quota of hours worked so I look better. Haha, <laughs> so I can hire more hitmen. Okay. I am going to, however, write a will and testament. Because shit's about to get wild, okay? Paddy's life has become too boring, too mundane, and too normal. It's time to start crime. It's crime time. So I will leave the vast fortune of my estate to my beautiful wife, Kira, who after this won't even be able to look at me. All right, crime time. But what else should we do? S a porch pirate, steal a neighbor's mail. That's, that's tiny stuff now. I've robbed a car and killed someone with someone else's hands. 
I can't be going off and being like, oh, I'll, I'll take pennies from someone's pockets. No. We're in too deep at this point. Let's rob a train. Central butterfly line. Southern Aristotle. Ooh, Aristotle line. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Hi, noon. No, let's do it at midnight. You waited for the certain Ar Aristotle line train at midnight, but it didn't show up. <laughs> I got cocked blocked by a fucking bad timetable. <laughs> All right. Happiness, 100%. Health, 100%. Smarts, 100%. Looks, doesn't matter. So we have 63,000 euro in the bank. I have a great job. I'm 41 years old. How is my wife doing? She's lovely. She's grand. Fair play to her. I think it's time for more crime. Wait, let's go into our job. Let's see who, who we can kill this time. Who's gonna piss me off? Saoirse! Do you have time for a conversation this time? Choose your answer wisely, Saoirse. This could go very wrong with the, with the touch of a button. I could end it all for you. What do you want to do, Kira? Conversation. You had a conversation with your co-worker, Searsha. Kira? Searsha! I- that, my, that's my wife. I got the wife in the brain because I just love her so much. You had a conversation with your co-worker, Searsha, about which superpower you would most like to have. Excellent choice, Searsha. The first person who doesn't want to talk to me gets the knife. Ah, good man, Dylan! Me and Dylan talked about the Stanley Cup. You tried to start a conversation with your co-worker, Freya, about your celebrity doppelgangers. She told you to shut up. Oh, that's the wrong answer, Freya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Hannibal! Alright, Hannibal's busy. We got Paul Vitti. Okay, hire him. Your hitman Paul Vitti pulled off the hit on your co-worker Freya using a flamethrower! Holy shit, Paul! Hannibal went in with a hunting knife. That seems like baby work at this point. Ah, good man, Liam! We talked about whether or not Adam Sandler is funny. Fucking legend. Good man, Liam. You live to fight another day. Oh, Layla? Oh, person I reported to human resources earlier. What's going on, Layla? You tried to have a conversation with Layla about quantum physics. She politely asked you to leave her alone so she could concentrate on her work. Wrong answer! Wait, Layla's not in the list. Why is Layla not in the list? Why can't I kill Layla? She has some sort of weird power over me. Layla, what's going on? God damn it, Layla. All right, fine. If I can't kill you, then time will. <gasps> Kira. You hear your wife Kira call out another man's name while having sex. What will you do? Kira! Wait, whose name was it? Rumble with her. <laughs> Can we go into a WWE ring and fight? Let's get ready to rumble! Okay, let's argue with her. You shouted at your wife, Kira, for cheating on you. But did she cheat? There's a big difference between shouting out someone else's name. Still not cool. Uh, or cheating. Let's let's try counseling again. Your wife, Kira, refused to go to you with relationship counseling. Kira? My hitman fingers are tingling, Kira! You and your wife, Kira, had a chat about your celebrity doppelgangers. Don't you fucking dare. You knew that I wanted to talk to my co-workers about that. You're using that against me, Kira. I'm the senior computer programmer now. Who wants to go? Layla! What's going on, Layla? She politely asked you to so concentrate on her work. I fucking- I'm gonna kill Layla. Where is he? Layla! There she is! Oh, Layla! You found a hitman worth 18,000 euro. Not bad. What's his name? Frank Costello. Great. Your hitman, Frank Costello, pulled off the hit on your coworker, Layla, using a banjo. Ooh, very nice. Good job, Mr. Hitman. I like that. I like the originality. I like the uniqueness. Very clever. I have now murdered three people. Should I make it a fourth? I'm just going to keep hiring hitmen until I go bankrupt. Who else? Who else wants to go? It could kill my stepdad. <laughs> he never wants to spend time with me. This is horrible. <laughs> I just want to see how far I can go with it before the game is like, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't keep killing people. You weren't able to find a hitman to take care of your stepfather. <gasps> he has too much power. You know what? My car sucks. I'm I'm just gonna sell in the black market. Nobody wants to buy your stolen Ford Mustang. No one wants my piece of shit car. I'm gonna scrap it. All right, and we're going to steal another one. I'm very good at crime at this point. Ooh, what do I want? A Maserati. Ooh, yes! Go for the big boys! 
You successfully sold the Maserati Gran Turismo. It's easy, people. <laughs> crime is easy. They say don't do the crime if you can't do the time. My character is immune to the system. My character's immune to... I need to not get too involved, okay? It's a different character, it's not me, it's just Patty Fitzgerald. It's in great condition, too. <laughs> Do you think the people working with me are like, Guys, have you noticed that everyone that Patty tries to talk to just mysteriously dies? They, they should learn better. That shouldn't be like, maybe we should report him to the police. That should be more like, hey, maybe we should talk to him. Let's, let's talk to Sophie. Or Evan. They have a very bad opinion of me. Dylan's always good for a conversation. How about you, Dylan? Talked about Martha Stewart and Oprah Winfrey. It's just a barrel of laughs with Dylan. It's a, probably a good time, though, to get plastic surgery. Because now they're gonna know who I am. They're gonna know- they, The hitman club of people are gonna know who I am, so if I hire them again, they're gonna be like, Hey, that guy's hiring too many hitmen, we're all gonna get caught. I need to change something. I need to get a facelift. By Dr. Ronan. Dr. Ronan has inspected you closely and determined that you are eligible for a facelift. 18,000 euro? Dr. Ronan, you know I could have someone killed for that. I could have you killed for that, Dr. Ronan. C wait, could I kill Dr. Ronan? <laughs> no, I can't. Wait, you can- A random prostitute? Why would you hire a hitman to kill a random prostitute? That's so fucking bizarre. Alright, Dr. Ronan, I'll get the surgery. Your facelift was successful. Look at my stats! 100% happiness, 100% health, 98% looks and smarts. Those are good statistics. Those are great statistics. Everyone at work's gonna talk to me now. I tried to talk to Sophie about how many people I killed and she told me to shut up. Sophie? No one wants to kill Sophie, huh? No one wants to kill Sophie? Why not? Your coworker Emma started a rumor that you believe the earth is flat. How dare she? I know that the Earth is a dodecahedron, okay? Fucking- okay, have a talk with her, pay no attention, start a rumor about her, charge her. I think we should kill her. <laughs> charge her. Oh wait, you mean charge as in like, run at her? Um, alright, let's- let's- wait, let's bite? Let's bite her mouth, ew. Bite her groin? Ew. Let's bite her skull! <laughs> You bit your co-worker Emma's skull, then you stopped, stopped, stepped on her toe, cracking her toenail. She died from her injuries?! No! I'm not supposed to actually kill people, I'm supposed to just make the hitman do it! These people are so touchy, HR has launched an investigation into you for attacking your co-worker. I just killed someone! <laughs> and they're like, ah, maybe we, maybe HR should take care of it. Oh no. Holy fuck. Emma! Don't spread rumors about me. Anybody else want to go, huh? <laughs> Adam? <laughs> oh, Adam! It's not looking good for you! Oh, Hitman don't want to kill Adam. Oh, whatever. What about my stepdad again? Your Hitman Mystique ran off with your money without pulling off the hit on your stepfather. My happiness is at zero percent! You know what? I'm just gonna have to call it quits there. I'll quit while I'm ahead. I haven't been arrested yet. I've killed, what, four people? Maybe five? I've lost count after the first one. <laughs> it's whatever. But let this be a lesson. Don't double cross Jack. I, uh, Patty. If you double cross Patty, he will hire a hitman. Or he'll bite your skull and you'll die from your injuries after he steps on your toe and cracks your toenail. <laughs> okay, pleasant dreams. Bye bye. <laughs>